have 41 gibbons here, five different species, and our focus is to educate the public about gibbons, and then we also work with conservationists and other zoo professionals, and we have internships, volunteer uh, positions, and um, learning about gibbons, trying to understand their biology. In some countries they are hunted, sometimes for their meat, but also for using their body parts with traditional medications or during ceremonies. And then uh, in other countries it's, uh, they're losing their habitat and uh, they're cutting the trees to open up land for plantations, uh, coffee tea plantations, Indonesia and Malaysia for the uh, palm oil plantations. In many grocery and cosmetic products you find a product called palm oil and uh, that's coming from the rainforest. <coughs> I live on site and every morning I wake up for the gibbons and then they will sing a few more times but to hear them singing it's, it's pretty amazing. You can hear them two miles away. I got to meet people on the weekend we are open and I, I love the gibbons but I'm able to share that love with other people. We sometimes go to schools and uh, talk about the gibbons and school groups coming here so uh, I do like to educate the people about the gibbons.